Hi children, welcome to BAN school. I am Maitli here. Now we are seeing the sixth chapter, food, nutrition and diseases. Okay. In that we saw our food contains so many nutrients. So those are all carbohydrates, what? Proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. So in our last video we saw about carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Now we are going to see about the next nutrients that is nothing but vitamins and minerals. So, vitamins and minerals are essential nutrients our body needs in a small amounts for growth and maintaining good health. Okay. So, this what nutrients we need in small quantity okay. that means small amount. Okay. So, vitamins and minerals are essential nutrients, but it is very important for our okay, body. Vitamins protect us from many diseases. Okay, vitamins protects us from many diseases. So, vitamins and minerals are called for protective what food? What protective food? Because it protects us from the, from the diseases and make a keep us healthy and fit. Okay. So, we call the food which are high in rich in vitamins and minerals are called protective food. Okay, we call it as protective food. Okay. Because it protects us from various diseases as well as from water and makes us healthy and keep fit. Okay. So, vitamins protect us from many diseases. Okay. The main types of vitamins are A, B, C, D and E. Okay, vitamins protect us from many diseases. What are all the main types of vitamins? Or A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, not A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. See, those names are A. Vitamin A, we call, we what? Read it like vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E. Okay. Fruits, eggs, milk, and leafy vegetables are rich in vitamins. Okay, fruits, eggs, milk and leafy vegetables. What are leaf, leafy vegetables? Spinach, what? Yes, cabbage, okay, and uh, mint, coriander leaves, okay, all, what? These are all leafy vegetables, some examples of leafy vegetables, okay, are rich in what? Vitamins. You might have heard people say, eat your salad. It is packed with vitamins. Okay, eat your salad. What, what is salad? Salad is nothing but eating raw what? Vegetables or fruits. Okay. That is containing salad is the bowl of what? Raw fruits and raw vegetables like cucumber, carrot, tomato, like that. Okay. Understood. See here, this is a plate of salad. It is containing tomatoes. Okay, some caps, capsicum like that, cucumber, okay, radish, carrot, what are all the vegetables and fruits you like to eat raw? You can make it with some salt and pepper, if you put it, it will become salad and it will be very, it is very good for your health, okay, you will get more fiber in this, okay, and it's true, so this is nothing but salad. So, you might have heard people say, eat your salad, it is packed with vitamins. When our body lacks in vitamins, we suffer from different kinds of deficiency diseases. Okay. What will happen when we, our body lacks in vitamins? We suffer from deficiency diseases that we will see later. What is the meaning of this deficiency diseases? Okay. For example, vitamin C deficiency causes bleeding gums okay, in our mouth, the gums are they no? So, what will happen? Blood will come out from the gums, no? Wow, that is due to the deficiency, that is the lack of vitamin C. Deficiency means the amount of vitamin C in our body is less, okay? That is why we will get the some diseases. That diseases are called deficiency diseases due to vitamin C, okay? So, what? For vitamin C deficiency causes, what will happen? Bleeding gums. So, we should consume vitamins and minerals as well as all the nutrients our body needs to grow healthy okay, and keep us fit. Okay. Come, we will go to the next page. Next is minerals. Minerals are nutrients 
that the body needs in small quantities. Okay? Minerals are essential for growth and strength. Some of the minerals that body needs are calcium, iron, potassium and iodine. Okay? So, what are the minerals? Example of minerals? Calcium, iron, potassium and iodine. Calcium, iron, potassium and iodine. Okay? Minerals are involved in many, many body functions. Calcium makes the bones and teeth strong. Okay? Calcium what happens? If we are not taking calcium rich food or what? Our teeth will get okay, break. If we bite some water, apple even a soft apple if we bite also our teeth will get because uh, we are not having more calcium in our body. Okay? So, for our teeth to be become strong, we should eat more calcium rich foods. Okay? Iron is used to make the hemoglobin, okay, hemoglobin in red blood cells. Okay? Hemoglobin in blood carries oxygen to different parts of the body. So, what is the function of hemoglobin? It is the what a red pigment in our blood. Okay, hemoglobin in the blood carries oxygen to different parts of the body. Okay, so for that hemoglobin, this iron is used to make the hemoglobin in red blood cells. Okay, we get minerals from milk, eggs, meat, leafy vegetables, bread, etc. Okay, so we get what minerals from these foods. See here. Some of the foods that are rich in minerals. What are they? Milk, apple, spinach, beans, egg. Okay. Milk, apple, spinach, beans. This is nothing. Spinach is nothing. But palak. That we tell no palak. Okay. That is nothing. That is called what? Spinach, beans, and egg. So these are all the food items that contains minerals. Okay. Understood. So, many nutrients like vitamins and minerals are lost if vegetables are washed after cutting them or if they are overcooked. So, we should eat it raw. Okay? So, we should not wash it after cutting. We should wash it then only we should cut the vegetables. Okay? If you, you tell it to your mother. Okay? See, if your mother do not know that means tell your mother mom first you wash the vegetable then you cut it so that the nutrients will, will not wash out. Okay, you tell to your mother. Okay, okay, children. First, we should peel the skin of if it is a carrot or cucumber, whatever it may be. You peel it and wash it. Then you cut it. Okay, okay, children. Or you first wash it and peel it and cut it so that the nutrients won't wash out. Okay. Come, we'll see the next what the topic that is nothing but roughages. What roughages? What is this roughages? There are also carbohydrates found in cereals, fruits and vegetables. These indigestible parts of the food are also called dietary fibers. What dietary fibers? There are also carbohydrates found in cereals, fruits and vegetables that we know, no? Yes. These indigestible parts of the food are also called dietary fibers okay they help the food to move freely through the digestive tract and thus keeps the digestive system healthy so we need what this fiber dietary fibers also very important for our digestion if you are not eating fruits and vegetables for long day what will happen our stomach problem will come we can't able to easily pass the stool okay so for for that for easy digestion these dietary fibers are very important Okay, they help the food to move freely through the digestive tract and thus keeps the digestive system healthy. Okay, come we'll see some food which are highest in fiber, fiber contained food. Okay, if we have some water, digestion problem means, okay, we should consume this type of food, then it will be solved. Okay, see here navy beans, chia seeds, green peas. Okay, broccoli, oranges, avocados, acorn squash, collard greens, whole wheat pasta, sweet potatoes. These are all the food items. Those are all rich in fiber. Okay, those are all rich in fiber. 
okay children so we should have what a sufficient amount of dietary fibers also okay in our food okay we should consume that for our water for our digestive okay track to be free okay understood children 